Alright, we are back. Let's start chapter one. That's quite the jump in time. <laughs> Alright. Camera, what are you doing here? You look, family picture, I guess, sort of, maybe, I don't know. Time to get going. Oh, Green! So is Elliot my BFF now? Morning, Elliot. <laughs> Good morning. Are you heading to school now, too? How about we walk there together? Sure. It's getting late, though, so we might need to pick up the pace a little. No problem. I'm guessing everyone else left already, huh? I think so. I'm not sensing anyone else on this floor, at least. Is so Rain just constantly, like, late? Is that his deal? Gaius in particular is probably long gone by now, being the early riser he is. Uh, oh! Okay, then. He's not sensing anyone? What does that mean exactly? It means Rena's secretly from DBZ, and he can sense people's power levels. I huh. wonder if Elisa still hates him. Mm. Yep. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. You think after like, what was it, almost a month? Maybe I'm better terms by now. Morning! Are you two on your way to school? Uh, yeah. Come on, Emma, we're going to be late. Hey, wait for me, Elisa. We'll see you in class. Bye, Emma. <sighs> I never would have guessed she'd hold a grudge this long. Yeah, what a jerk. She knows it was just an accident, right? She has to. I mean, her boobs fell on me. I didn't do it the other way around. Come on now. Can't believe she'd be so sensitive. No kidding. She's not even giving me a chance to apologize to her. Well, as long as you keep trying, I'm sure she'll understand. Eventually. Class Seven's got enough tension as it is with our two, uh, prideful warriors at each other's throats. So I think it would be a load off everyone's mind if you and Elisa could make up at least. Say that as if it's my choice. I mean, come on now. I'll certainly do what I can. Whatever that may be. If Elisa's just gonna be a jerk about it, I mean, I can't really do anything. Goodness, guys, your footsteps, they're so loud. These past two weeks have really flown by, haven't they? Okay, I guess it was only two weeks. It's funny. I went into this thinking combat practice would be the toughest part of the curriculum. Never would have guessed the academic side of things might give it a run for its money. Well, strong in body and mind is pretty firmly embedded into Imperial culture. I do get what you mean, though. I figured I'd be able to coast through the year, but I've had to very quickly reevaluate that. Uh, you too, huh? I wish I were as smart as Machias or Emma. They don't seem to be having any problems at all. But then, Emma got the top score on the entrance exam, and I'll bet you anything Machias wasn't far behind. I'm sure. Bunch of nerds. Yusus and Elisa are apparently doing really well too. As are Laura and Gaius. So what you're saying is we're like the only two that are terrible at school? Really? 
this. I'm just gonna have to suck it up then. Though I really do hope they don't mind. Huh? I'm not sure I follow. Oh, sorry. You got me thinking about Eusis and Laura. I've been talking to them the same way I talk to everybody else, but they're both nobles, right? And Eusis' family rules over the whole eastern side of the Empire, so it kind of feels like I should address them more... formally. Well, they both said it was okay, so I wouldn't worry about it too much. Though you probably shouldn't go picking fights with Eusis every chance you get, like a certain someone else. Oh, I don't plan on it. I'd hope they get along a bit better over time, but if anything, things seem to be spiraling downhill fast on that end. When the two of them are in the same room, there's just this constant tension in the air. It's not all Machias either. Eusis seems to enjoy provoking him at every opportunity. Eusis provokes everybody. I can't even imagine what it would take to make them see eye to eye at this point. Machias is just a hothead. Yeah, I wish there was something we could do to help them get along. And that's where we'd be if we weren't in class seven. The low class dorms. Dormitory number two, for all the common folk like us. Yeah, I guess so, huh? I'm still kind of shocked that class seven gets to have its own dormitory. Though to be fair, I think that building was abandoned till this year. Seems like they renovated it just for us. Well, they did a good job. It's got a nice feel to it. I just wish it were a little closer to the academy. Hey, you're in our way. Step aside at once. Ah. <sighs> Nobles. Hmm. Class 7, I see. I is something the matter? You're just a ragtag bunch of nobodies, aren't you? Come on, we're leaving. Yes, Patrick! A word of advice, you might be part of a special class, but that doesn't change who you are. Never forget your place. Ah, <sighs> so they're from one of the upper classes. So many dicks in the noble side. This is why I hate talking to them. Unfortunately, that attitude is all too common among the nobles. Thank goodness Laura and Eusis aren't like that. Didn't we just talk about how Eusis is like that? <laughs> yeah, that would be pretty bad. That's the infamous dormitory number one, where all the nobility lives. It's supposed to be super fancy inside, with maids and butlers and everything. Wow, really? Late. Guess that's our cue to pick up the pace. Yeah, sorry. Oh, hey, have you picked out a club to join yet? Guess we should pick up the pace, walk slowly. It doesn't sound like you have to or anything, but it's probably a good way to meet people. No, I'm still looking. It's hard to decide on one. Stand, bow. Be seated. Why are we doing the Japanese thing? This is like totally Germany. As I'm sure you're all well aware, the Erebonian Empire was driven to the brink of collapse roughly 250 years ago. Trichols. Where was, what's with the crazy glasses? This was glasses? brought about by the conflict we know as the War of the Lions. It's like the dude from Sailor Moon, with the weird spiral glasses. A civil war lasting several years, staged over the throne of the late emperor by the most powerful of his potential successors. 
But of course, I'm not here to tell you that. If I were, I think even young children would be able to pass this course. <laughs> Rather, I'd like to discuss the effects this had on the Empire as members of the aristocracy were drawn into the war. Many hired mercenaries turned to looting and pillaging, and a similar trend could even be seen among some of the knights. The land was left utterly devastated, and morale was at an all-time low. Lisa, you're clipping. It's bothering me so much. Please stop. But then, lo and behold, into this nightmare stepped a man. A man willing to take a stand against this bloody war of succession. He was a wandering prince who began to rally forces from the outskirts of the Empire, and would go on to make quite a name for himself. And that name, of course, was Dreykel's Rysay Arnor. Sounds like Olivier. He would later become known as Dreykel's the Lionheart, the 73rd Emperor of Erebonia and father of the Renaissance. Not to mention the founder of this very academy. Dreykel's army was initially rather small in number. But as he traveled across the empire, winning over the hearts of influential sympathizers, his forces rapidly increased. Now, the place where Emperor Dreykels first began gathering his army was... Rienschwarzer, would you care to tell the class? Supposed to know this. <laughs> oh, I guess so. I mean, you're supposed to have voice acting. Where is it at? Come on now. Uh, I guess since it's a multiple choice, they didn't feel like voice or. Er making like several voice choice line things. Yay, my knowledge skill has gone up. Now I can make more S-Links. Wait, wrong game. Oh, somebody was cheating. Oh, she was trying to make a, what? Does she like me or not? Come on now. Why is she trying to cheat for me, but she hates me and won't talk to me? Come on now. Decide. Decide what you're going to do here. <laughs> hey, more tutorials. I'm making good decisions. You get AP. I guess that's like the BP of the Trails games. Yeah, or the Trails in the Sky games. I guess we're still playing Trails games. Yeah, that's pretty much it's pretty much BP. Nice work, everyone. You made it through another grueling day of classes. Was well, pretty grueling. I had to answer a question. In case you've been living under a rock, please don't forget that tomorrow is your first free day. It's our first free day in two weeks. Man, this is a rough school. It's not technically a day off, but there are no classes, so it's up to you what to do with your time. Okay, so there's no classes, so how is it not technically a day off? Why, you could go shopping in the capital if you wanted to. Or just do what I do and sleep all day. Sleep is so wonderful. Um, will the Academy's facilities still be open for our use? Yes, I'd like to be able to use the free study area in the library myself. Of course! This school shuts down for no one, so feel free to patronize any and all facilities as you like. A lot of clubs have meets scheduled for these free days as well, so anyone who's joined one should probably check on that. I see. I'll be certain to do so. Also, before you leave, we should go over what's happening next week. On Wednesday, you all have your practical exam. A practical exam? Exams? I didn't sign up for this. What does that entail exactly? It's part of your combat training. You'll be graded on your performance, so make sure you're well rested and ready for battle by then. Might be a good idea to do some training on your own time too, just to keep from getting rusty. Hmm. 
Interesting. Sounds like work. I definitely don't like the sound of that. <sighs> oh, and one more thing. After the practical exam is over, I've got another important announcement about a major part of Class 7's curriculum that I haven't mentioned at all yet. Good job, sir. Leaving things out. Ooh, what? Here it comes. So, whatever you choose to do on your free day, make it count for something. That concludes today's homeroom. Machias, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. All rise. Bow. Wasn't Emma in charge of that? I still don't know why we're doing the Japanese school thing in Germany, though. Would be a band nerd, Elliot. Guys, is secretly a manga artist. like weird dead zone thing, it's really annoying. Did Sarah get stuck with us because she was a terrible teacher and they just wanted to throw her somewhere? to wonder. I should have taken care of this before starting the stream, but I'll be right back in like a minute.
Okay, we're back. Sorry for that. So, I believe we are... We're going places. Let's go do stuff. Go around and talk to people. Might as well, right? Running in the halls is not only allowed, but it's encouraged. to be like a not terrible noble. That's cool. This game has like some sort of weird like kind of tank controls and it's oh dear. Oh dear, please no. Let's let's not talk to you anymore, okay? You give me the creeps. for everything, huh? Well, it's just, she's just as new as I am, apparently. Let's see. What's the art club, then? Yep. Social. Guys, you're, you're you're not painting anything. It's like a white brush on white white canvas. What are you doing, guys? Please. the nicest person, I guess. But Pinky over there should probably talk to Gaius. She seems, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Um, let's go check the roof first before going downstairs. Pretty cool, right? Uh, looking. 
I guess that's it for this area. It's nice that the map gives you a list of NPCs. I don't have to look around too hard for them. progress when I'm trying to just look around, so I'm just going to do that. Why would you relax in an infirmary? That's kind of weird. Uh, I think she's just really needy. Oh, I'm just going to leave her alone. What's wrong with this guy? I'll talk to them in a bit. Let's go over here first. Oh, here's the niece of the sign guy. Yeah, it's upstairs, like first door after the stairway, the middle stairway. Oh, it's another noble. Are you sure this guy isn't related to Olivia somehow? Beer might have him beat a little bit on likability, though, sadly, <laughs> for him. Is this janitor? Is this like the janitor's closet? Oh, glad he's pretty easy going, huh? Have the notebook? No. What are you talking about, sir? All right. Let's go through this courtyard real quick, I guess.
ねCourtyard, not actually like really a courtyard. Is it more like like what's the deal? No, it's it's a courtyard, but it has an exit. I'm not sure I'd really call that a courtyard exactly. All right, just don't go there yet, I guess. Talk to the uh, person ahead of you. Is this the farming club? Uh, this grass is all grassy, weird. Okay. club or something. So you do the student newspaper. Hmm. A lot of people here too, I guess. Why not both? Is this the fencing club? Looks like it. Why is Patrick always like the bad person in these kind of things? <sighs> Do I care if you think what I think about me? Another one of the. She seems to be an okay noble, I guess. Let's see. Looks like there's only three more people in here, so we'll go check them out. Oh, there's a stairway. A swimming team, huh?
Well, swimming club seems like a pretty chill place. Can I go upstairs? Uh, yes, but there's no one up here. Okay. Guess that's it for the gymnasium. be a troublemaker. The horse. Hmm. See, they say all nobles are stuffy, but it seems like not all of them are overall. Elisa and Emma. I would not expect Emma to be in the lacrosse team. Becky, why are you Scottish? I'm in Germany, sir. Ma'am. I mean, Becky was probably got an Osaka dialect in the Japanese version. Hmm. I like to do that to people. I need to go back to the main building and talk to the receptionist because I didn't do that earlier. Well, you, you. You weren't there a minute ago. Who are you? Oh, uh, right. Whatever, man. Whatever. Wait, what's your name? Bianca, okay. Someone there, and maybe someone in the library, so we'll check that out. That's Machias. Apparently you didn't... Apparently Eustace is in here, too. I don't know why I keep forgetting his name. Yep, there he is. Alright, 
So check this place out all the time. Oh, there's something shining over here. It's weird to think that like all their technology basically came about about 50 years ago. <laughs> It's like the one person in the entire store or the entire uh, campus without a name. I don't remember anyone else not having some sort of name somewhere. Well, it doesn't seem like there's anything I can do up here, so. Let's go ahead and leave here. Get the next building and check out the engineering building, I guess. No, never mind. Guess there's no reason to go there yet. They want me to leave campus, so I'm not going to bother trying. I could be wrong. I could have probably gone. Be the student union building. I know the cafeteria is on the first floor, but I wonder where the student council room is. Hey there, first year. Who that? Um, how's it going? Oh, it's Bandana Boy with the weird. It looks so weird. I hope they just give him a name soon. Academy life been treating you well this past half month? <laughs> oh, yeah, it has. Guess he must be a second year. It's not easy, but I'm managing. Mostly. Though I have a feeling it's only going to get harder from here on out. <laughs> of course it will. 
Your class is going to be more intense than the others, too. But you just hang in there, okay? Uh, okay. Um, wait. You're a second year student, aren't you? Do you mind if I ask your name? Shouldn't you introduce yourself before asking other people their name? Isn't that like the Japanese way? Hey now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. First things first, how about you let me show you this cool trick I've been practicing? Trick? Hmm. You got a 50 mirror coin I can borrow? This sounds like a terrible idea. Mm. Don't do it. I, I think so. Pretty sure I do anyway. Oh, Wayne, that's my last 50 mirror. Don't do Cheers. it. Cheers. All right, watch closely. What? Now. Turn your sleeve, bro. I saw you do it. Which hand is the coin in? Left or right? It's in your. Too bad. Guess you win. I'm usually pretty good at following moving objects too. Though, wait, you said this was a trick, which means... You catch on quick. Huh? <laughs> Keep up the good work, man. You're gonna need to be pretty tough to get through a year with Sarah as your instructor. Oh, and, uh, the student council room is on the second floor, furthest room back. See you around. Have a good weekend. Bro, oh, my, my coin. Wait, my 50... Mira. <sighs> he got me. That's why you can't afford anything in this game. Random NPCs take all your money from you. Andy seemed to know I was heading to the student council room too. Somehow. Nice good. I haven't met many of the second years yet. I wonder if they're all like that. Thieving jerks, probably. Oh well. At least now I know where I'm going. Though, if it really is open late, I guess there's no real rush. We might as well see what else people are up to in here. Let's see. Actually, the funny thing is I had 500 mirror to start with and I still have it, so I guess it wasn't my mirror that I gave up. Might as well see if I can go into town. Or if it's like, nah, you can't do that. Okay, so... Game's like, nah, you can't do that. Let's go ahead and take care of that then. Alright, so this is my shop. So I can't do anything to you yet. Hmm. It's not too bad as far as restoration goes. Also, for whatever reason, these people are still, like, technically my party, even though they're not. So that's weird. Alright, so I guess there are other people without names. That's really weird, because the Sky series, I don't think anyone was unnamed. don't have multiple lines. Hmm. 
Kind of weird, you can just walk back here. Roger that, I guess. Mm. Oh, nothing to do but go upstairs. Here's another club. What is ooh, what is she doing? Novel she reading? That's kind of let's let's leave her. Chess club. Hmm. No one likes chess. the interruption. It's the short girl. Toa? Oh! You're... that girl. That girl. You know, we met like two weeks ago. Somehow I remember you. <laughs> it's been about two weeks, hasn't it? Welcome to the student council room, Reen Schwarzer. Instructor Sarah sent you, right? Yes. So, you're a member of the student council then? I wonder if she got moved up a few years. She looks even younger than Fee. Hmm. Is something wrong? Oh, I'm sorry. I was just wondering, um, are you a second year student? <laughs> I am, but there's no need for formalities with me. There's no junior or senior in my book. She's actually like 30. President? Uh huh. Does that surprise you? I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunities to interact with you and the other first years during your time here. So if there's anything you need help with, you just come and let me know, okay? I'll do everything in my power to make it better. Thank you. That's very kind. She's seriously the student council president? That's hard to believe. <coughs> um, so. The reason I've come here is because you're holding on to something for Class 7, right? Oh, of course. Here you go. Yours is the one on top. Let's see. It's the Bracer Notebook, except not because it's cold steel, so student notebook this time. Oh, our student notebooks. I completely forgot about these. I'm really sorry it's taken so long. Class 7's curriculum is pretty different from any of the other classes. And you're even using a different kind of battle orb mint, so yours had to be compiled separately. Meaning these notebooks have information in them about... The Arcus, yes. All the student notebooks double as instruction manuals for their accompanying battle orb mints. Oh, this is that, that funny scene I saw where someone threw the Japanese voices in. And the other first years are all using the same type as last year, so we could just reuse last year's template. But the archetype you're using works quite differently, so we had to write a whole new set of directions from scratch. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. But wait, who's we? Pretty much just me. Instructor Sarah asked me to do it on her behalf. Which means it's my fault this has taken so long. I'm really sorry. Oh, no, no. If anything, it, it sounds like we owe you a huge debt of gratitude for putting so much time and effort into it. I guess that means this is one of the added voice sections for Reen. Is that really part of the student council's job, though? It seems more like something our instructor should be handling herself. Technically, you're right. But she's always so busy. 
By busy, you mean lazy. And I help out the other instructors a lot, too. So I don't mind lending her a hand from time to time. Mm. What a nice person. Maybe a little too nice for her own good. I doubt she ever gets a moment's rest around here. So you just need me to give these to the other students in Class 7, right? Yes, please. I really appreciate what you've all agreed to do, too. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> I heard all about it from Instructor Sarah. She said you've agreed to help out the student council with our work, right? Well, that's the new news to us, I guess. It's such a nice gesture. You're really getting Class 7 off to a great start here at the Academy. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Didn't you tell her that you wanted to help ease our workload? Something about wanting to better yourselves? To prove you were worthy of being a part of this prestigious new class? She said you were all really eager to help out. So I should try to delegate some of my duties to you. Thank you, my dear. I leave everything in your capable hands. Mwah! Hmm. Mwah, indeed. <laughs> I... I'm sorry. Did I misunderstand her or something? Oh, how embarrassing. I didn't mean to start trying to force work onto you when you've only just enrolled. <sighs> There's no way I can turn her down. Of course not. She's the Moy Blob of the game. No, no. Instructor Sarah is absolutely right. Your plate is as full as I've seen, so if I can help you in any way, please let me. Phew! I thought there had been a terrible misunderstanding there for a moment. Tell her your, your, your hair's clipping through your back, please. <laughs> but don't worry. I won't give you anything too difficult. It'll mostly just be fulfilling requests from people in the Academy and in Trista. You know, you'll just be a bracer, basically. All the side quests. Requests? Yep. Sometimes people send in feedback and list things they'd like us to do for them. And we try to help out however we can. I'll pick some up for you to do by the end of the day and drop the list in your mailbox at your dorm tomorrow morning. Will that be okay with you? Sure thing. Thanks. It's time to go find everybody to give them their notebooks, then. Dusk already? <sighs> what a day. Can't believe she wound up treating me to dinner in the cafeteria. And she's still got more student council work to do yet. How is she so busy? Because she's running the student council by herself, apparently. Um... Hello? This is Reen Schwarzer speaking. Hello, newfound who this. Guten Tag, my favorite little wunderkind. I hear you had a nice little dinner date with the student council president. Ooh la la. If this is how you treat your favorite little wunderkind, I dread to think how you treat people you don't like. Would you care to explain why you've been signing me up for things behind my back? I'll skip the details for now, but it's got something to do with the other part of your curriculum that I'll be announcing next week. I thought it'd be a good chance for one of you to do a little rehearsal before the main event. And since the student council truly is busy, I figured, why not kill two birds with one stone? A fine plan, if I do say so myself. I have a feeling half the reason they're as busy as they are is because of certain instructors. Mm. But all right. I'm happy to play along. Basically, you just want me to spend my free day tomorrow helping the student council, right? Oh, that's entirely up to you. If there's a club you're interested in joining, far be it from me to force you away from it. No, to be honest, I still haven't found one that really clicks with me, so that won't be a problem. I mean, I wanted to join lacrosse, but they said no guys allowed, so, I mean. There is one question I'd like to ask, though. Why me, exactly? Because you're the protagonist, obviously. <sighs> this seems like the kind of task typically entrusted to the class president or vice president. So, Emma, or Machias. And even if you were choosing based on social class, Yusus and Laura were both born into noble families. I wasn't. So what makes me so special, exactly? <laughs> well, in a sense, you're a at the center of class seven pardon i'm not saying you're its leader of course 
But in a class full of nobles, commoners, and exchange students, you in particular are special. I wish they would tell me why. Surely even you can see that, no? Well... That's why I decided to give you first dibs, so to speak. I wanted to get an idea of how things might go from here on out. There's never been a class like yours before, after all. So there you have it. The beans have been spilled all over the place. Ball's in your court now. Okay, then. <laughs> Wait, what are you drinking? That was quite a weird noise. Beer, of course. It's the weekend, and I'm stuck wasting away in my room, imbibing libations. Alas! All by my lonesome. If only I had a classy gentleman friend who'd go out drinking with me. But woe of woes, such a man is nary to be found. I am convinced Sarah was just thrown into our class because they had nowhere to put her and they couldn't fire her for some reason. Um, are you okay? Never better. But you, instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just... Go with the flow for a change. It seems like you're desperately trying to find something. But if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just gonna blow away with the next big gust that comes along. <laughs> and on that note, make sure you're back in the dorm by curfew and all transgressions will be forgiven. Toodles! Transgressions? What did I do? I don't plant myself somewhere, huh? She may have a few screws loose, but she's got a point. Maybe I should just try going with the flow and see what comes of it. Sure. Oh, okay, we finally got the, tap uh, the chapter drop, apparently. room for a while. Let's look at this notebook that we got. Yeah. Oh, we got that one, which I already read, so I don't really need to reread it. That's all we know about Reen right now. isn't part of some fencing club that I haven't seen one of those. Oh wait, yeah I did. I'm surprised he isn't in there. Maybe it's beneath him, I don't know. Oh right, we ran to Patrick. Guess we'll get to know him better later. We have Toa as well. Alright, that's everything for that. I thought I looked at all these, but apparently I didn't. Alright, 
with all that. So I guess I just have to go talk to everybody. And that will probably get filled at some point, I imagine. violin, I guess. Is that all that's in here? I guess so. I don't get anything on the ordnance, apparently. Of course, this doesn't work like the first game where you have to like combine stuff to make orbit or to make uh, spells. Seems like you just straight up get them and you equip them. so observant, it's really weird. Uh, let's not bother him. I'm guessing that Elliot's the only person I'm good enough friends with to actually go into the room. Oh, no, nope, I can go into Guy's room as well. So he's from the Nord Highlands, apparently. I still have no idea where that is in Erebonia. Or not Erebonia, in Ka... I don't remember the name of this continent anymore. Whatever it is. I suppose I'm allowed in the room because they're my party members. Um, there shouldn't be anyone in this first floor, but... Hmm, there is someone hanging out. It's the instructor. Why is she in our dorm? Does she live here too? That's enough for her for now. Let's go up to the third floor and talk to the girls. Where's the... oh. There's the stairs.
It's okay if he's always asleep, so... She's obviously a deadly assassin. Elisa, please. doesn't want us to know her last name, apparently. I'm pretty sure she's uh, probably related to the people that make the ornament stuff in this country. I forgot the name of them. Like Ryan Ford or something like that. checked all of them out. And the last person is Laura, I guess. dueled with her, she cut my head off. Let's see. I think that's everybody. Yeah, all I have is going back to my room now, I guess. to do right now. 